Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson. In this quick video tutorial, I want to show you how to add action links to our plugin entries in the plugin menus. And by action links, what I mean are these links right here. Um, a really good example is my Easy Content Types plugin, where I've actually added several other menu links here that you can see post types, taxonomies, meta boxes, settings, etc. Uh, so rather than just having deactivate, I have all these different links that actually go to different sections within the plugin administration panels. So I want to show you how to add those links. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this plugin right here, Custom Functions plugin, which is just one I use for testing custom functions, and we're going to add a couple links to it. First of all, you'll notice that I've already added one called My Link. So what we're looking at right here is the plugin file. Uh, you can see this is the one that we were actually working with in a previous tutorial about the contextual help. Uh, but anyway, so now we're going to add these links right here. So to do that, we have a simple function that accepts two parameters, links and file. Links is an array of the already existing links in that action menu, and then file is going a variable that contains the, the name of this plugin and this plugin file. Uh, then what we do is we first do a couple uh, a quick if check that says let's make sure that we're on the correct file and that we're in our plugins file and not a different plugin because we want to make sure that we only modify the links for this plugin. So we have a variable called this plugin which simply returns the file name that we're currently in and then we check to see whether the file variable passed up here matches this plugin. If it does, we go in and modify the links. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set up an array right here called plugin links and each index in that array is going to be our custom link. So you see this one right here is called my link and there it is right there. And I'm actually linking it to the themes page uh, but you can link it anywhere you want. Next, after we have set up a link, a custom link to add, we're going to take each of the links that we've added to our array and add it onto the end of the links array that we passed at the top of the, the function which is the array of all of the links already existing for this plugin. So we do a for each loop on a for each for the array so we're going to go through each element in our custom array and add it to the existing links array which is that what this array on shift does right here. Then down at the very end, we're simply going to return back our new modified links array. Um, and then we have a filter down here at the bottom that will actually uh, make these links active. Without this filter, it's not going to happen. So um, you can see the link right here. Let's go ahead and add in another one. So if we want to add a second link to this, we can simply duplicate our line. And then we set up a neck, another end. We're going to add in another item to the array. And now we're going to change it, let's say, to the widgets page. Let's just say widgets. And now you can see it right there. Widgets, my link, and deactivate. So you can add as many as you want. You can see if I duplicate this several times, save it and refresh, we have a whole bunch of widget links. Uh, so it's really cool. It's actually really, really easy to do. Um, and it's a great way for you to provide a quick way for your users to access certain uh, pages within your plugin. So like I said with my Easy Content Types plugin, uh, we have a menu over here for the content types that has all of these different options, post types, taxonomies, meta boxes, settings, etc. Um, but I have put it right here so that once you activate the plugin, you immediately have access to all of these links and they're really easy to find. Whereas a lot of times when you activate a plugin, you have to go exploring and figure out, okay, which menu did this new plugin add their menu item to? Um, I've had times where I've activated a plugin and I know it has a settings page, but I can't find the settings page for the life of me. So adding an action link like this is a really, really easy way to eliminate that problem uh, and make it really easy for your users to find their way around. So just to kind of show you again, if I click right here to meta boxes, it takes me immediately to my content types meta boxes page. If I click here on the um, the widgets link that I've added, it's going to take me to the widgets page. Uh, so you can link it anywhere you want within your admin or even outside of your admin. Let's say we, let's do this real quick. Let's say that you want to link it to uh, maybe your own custom support page. So we could do this. Oops. And now we have help and it goes to my site slash the contact page. So it's a cool little 
Uh, it's a good little tutorial that should help you out. I hope you enjoy.